The presenting sponsor of this episode of Dating Straight is Best Fiends. If you like solving fun puzzles, Best Fiends is for you. There's way more variety and strategies than you'll ever get from smashing candy round after round. Shane. Um, in fact, it's almost too fun. I've been playing for a while and I'm telling you, can't stop, won't stop. Literally true. I I won't stop and I'm not, I don't feel bad about it. <laughs> Stay mad, candy game. <laughs> um, download the five-star rated puzzle game, Best Fiends, free today on the Apple App Store or Google Play. That's friends without the R, Best Fiends. Thanks, Best Fiends. Amy. Hey, Jack. I'm gay. Oh my God, that is so funny. I'm also gay. I was uh, going to tell you. Wait, really? Yeah. And, and you're, you're listening, listening to Dating, Dating Straight. Straight. Uh-oh. Oh my gosh. It's true. It's true. We're not kidding. Yeah. The title of this? Not clickbait. No. And we're not talking like Twitter canceled either. No. We're talking canceled by the network. The show is canceled. Yeah. Can't. Dating straight is over. It's done. This could be the last episode. It could. Truly. Yeah. But it might not be. Well. But it might be. But it might be. <laughs> <laughs> like no promises no no not even close actually no don't even get your hopes up actually yeah get them all. down yeah like for all intents and purposes this is the last episode this is the last episode we have planned yeah let's talk about how and why okay the who what where, where, where when, why, why. Okay. okay who dating straight dating straight Us. yeah when a couple weeks ago a couple weeks ago um what Where? got canceled? What got canceled? Where? <laughs> Where? From Via past media. Email. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Via email. In my true. Gmail. <laughs> Why? We weren't famous enough. Yeah. Damn. Too underground. Yeah, we were too indie. <sighs> yeah. We are not Billboard 100 Hot 100 material. No. Okay. No. 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 We're not. We are the Charlie XEXs of the world. But but, but less. less. <laughs> okay. We're like we're like um. We're like what Charlie is to like Beyonce. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> if if Sarah Silverman is Beyonce. Yeah. Okay. So well, let's who's explain. Who's like less than Charlie though? Charlie's still like pretty popping. Poppin', like and she's Kim all Petrus, over maybe. True. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Dorian Electra. Okay. Okay. We're the Dorian Electra of podcasts. Oh, is that um, like rude? No, I love Dorian Electra. Okay. We're just indie. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So here's what happened. For real. Yeah. For real, for real. Yeah. So. Um. Yes. So over the pandemic, we lost, I don't know, maybe... 50% of our viewers, question mark? Something like something that. Like oh, that. Something like that. It, it was most, then we lost the viewers. It was, we were headed we in. We lost our mind. <laughs> that too. <laughs> we were headed in like this great trajectory, I feel Pre -pan. like. Pre-pan. Pre-pan. Yeah. And then Pan just really shook us up. Like recording from home, the lag. The lag. It was not fun. It was not fun. It was not fun. Talking it was a to, chore. Yeah. Talking to guests that we didn't know. Impossible. Over FaceTime. Just like the vibes. W I mean, sometimes the vibes were there. Sometimes yeah. we'd, got, we'd get off and be like, that was amazing. Yeah. But then Rarely. sometimes <laughs> it would be like, I couldn't hear them. So I just smiled and nodded for 30 minutes. Right. And you guys noticed. So you guys stopped watching. Yeah. Um, it's all valid. Understandably. It's all valid. Um, then we got back into the studio just or or well, then we did outdoor, yeah. which was fine. It was um, good. But it was hot. It was sweaty. It was hot. Let's yeah, be it was real. sweaty. We had to lug. But it all was the better. It up. was better than the yeah. other one. Jack would drive from San Diego. I'd drive from San Diego. Drive back up to San Diego. And then we just recently got into the studio, and yeah. like things were, were looking up, in my opinion. That's th that's what I think too. Yeah, things were looking up. Yes, if you even look at like our past like five eps being back in the studio, I'm like, wow, bangers. Banger after banger after banger. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, apparently not. Because <laughs> <laughs> actually, like, right before we got into the studio, our production company called us and they were like, hey, guys, warning. We had a stern talking to. We had a stern. Yeah, they were like, warning, <laughs> we're going to drop you if you don't 
well, they didn't, guess if something doesn't change. They didn't say they were like nice about it. They were like the well, numbers. Well, they gave a warning. That's pretty nice. Yeah, no, it was a yeah. warning. Yeah, they were like the numbers. You need to turn it around right now. Yeah, is what they said. They said right now. Yeah, and we were like, okay. Yeah. So we did <laughs> essentially like a little well, we bit. Tri- yeah. We tried. Not enough, apparently. But they it was going up. We were on the up and we up. We were on the up. Um, Not like, fast enough. Surely we are probably now from this episode, I would think. Yeah. This one's going to get a lot of clicks, I think. You think? I don't know. Wouldn't like it be almost, sad if yeah. it didn't? Um, <laughs> oh, my God. That would be so sad. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, my God. And then, we, yeah, we did these eps. And then we were, like, feeling good. Yeah. And then we got hit with the email on a Friday afternoon at, like, 4.30 p.m. Mm, end of the day on a Friday. Yeah. That's when people do their firings. Yeah. Because they, like, knew we weren't – they didn't have to respond till Til Monday. Monday. <laughs> yeah. And actually, I didn't respond till Monday. No. Um, And it was, like – That wasn't anything to say. No. You it know? was, like – We should have just ignored it. <laughs> and kept coming back. Yeah. We're like, what are you talking about? Yeah. We, like, didn't, we didn't get your email. Any yeah. email. It went mm-hmm. straight to my junk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it said, your show is canceled, baby. Um, and we yeah. were like, oh my God. Well, Jack called me. Yeah. I was getting my glam on for dinner. Mm-hmm. For a nice Friday night dinner with the girls. Yes. And I get this frantic call, FaceTime even, from yeah. Jack Dodge. And I, and I go like this. <gasps> Did you see the email? Yes. I think it's exactly what it happened. And I was like, no, girl, what email? No, I think you literally said, you, you knew, I think you knew at that point. I didn't know. You, you said, what email? No, I, <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what email you were talking about. Like, I had no idea. Uh-huh. This came out of nowhere for me, which is funny because they did tell us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but for me, it was, I was flawed. Not, yeah. Flawed. Oh. And so the email was like, Amy and Jack, we're really sorry. It, it sucks to say this, but we are having to wrap up production of Dating Straight. Um, like, we want the show to, like, we have some time to transition you off, but we want to do this as quickly as possible. Um, and, um, yes. Yeah. That was pretty much it. Oh and my then gosh. we were like, oh my God. Um, yeah. And so here we are wrapping it up yeah. as late as possible. Actually, we used every single, we, we used the entire transition period to film more episodes. Yeah. Right? Well, yeah, we had like ad commitments. We had some ad commitments. Thanks, Best Fiends. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Best Fiends, like first sponsor and last sponsor. They were our first? I thought BetterHelp was our first. Maybe. I think I BetterHelp know. is in here too, though. Oh my God. Yeah. See, at least there's some commitment. At least this. <laughs> um, I'm kidding. This is episode 93. We almost made it to 100. So close. Well, don't say maybe we will, but maybe we won't. Yeah. But I just want to act like this is the end because. Yeah. Since so we then don't there is know, closure. Yes. Yeah. Because wouldn't it be so sad if we made a whole episode being like, I think we're going to come back. Yay. And then that's <laughs> it. Like, <laughs> we'll mean, totally be that. Yeah. I feel like I've seen so many <laughs> things like that happen before. But really? Th- well, just like for anything, they'd be like, this is not the end. This is just a break. Right. And then you never hear from them again. Yes. It's like when Grace Helbig left Daily Grace, she was like, I'm taking a week off. Oh, yeah. And then she never came back. Exactly. Well, we're going to take a week off. <laughs> yeah. Um. No, but, um, yeah. How do we feel about it? How are you feeling about it? Oh my goodness. I went through all of the stages. I feel like I'm still in them. Yeah, probably. me too. Yeah. For sure. Um I I definitely was hit with denial first night, Friday night. Yeah. Well, you were I like, was like why did they do this? Well, They're- I was hit with disassociation. I don't know if that's a stage. Mm-hmm. That could be denial. Yeah. I left my body. Yeah, you just like weren't going to deal with it. Yeah. yeah, I was like I I simply couldn't yeah. on that day. I didn't have like the I time. I did that too. Yeah. I said, this is the weekend, honey. <laughs> I'm not dealing with this. Yeah. So, Nor should we have. Yeah. No. Good call. I think we did it good. Uh-huh. Um, left my body in that <laughs> moment. What is denial? Oh, I think like the weekend was spent in denial because then I went to Joe's birthday and I got like wasted. I forgot all about it. Okay. I was having like 
the time of my life. Like <laughs> the music was popping, J Pan was DJing, uh -huh. shots were flowing. Yeah. So I was just like, what? Happy birthday, Joanna. But right. then Monday. <laughs> Sadness. <laughs> so sad. Yeah. So, so sad. Yeah. Anger? Did you feel anger ever? I actually didn't have the anger. I only really have been hit with denial, I think, first. Well, I, it's not like denial. Like, I, yeah, I guess I didn't. Yeah, I just put it off the feelings. Then yeah. I went to sadness. Anger? Oh, yeah. I don't think I really, I'm not an angry person. There's, well, you don't have to be an angry person to experience anger. I wasn't angry though. I know I didn't have anyone to be like necessarily angry yeah, who, at. Who? Yeah, I understand why this has happened. Yeah. Wait, what's the fourth stage? Um, Bargaining. Denial? Yes. Did we bargain? Well, well, we were like, we're gonna keep it going. We're gonna find we'll new, find another place, another place to yeah. continue the show. Which which we're working maybe, on. Maybe yeah. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. Yeah. It all depends. It all depends. And. I feel like people in the comments are going to be like, why don't you just self-produce it? And we just can't do that. Yeah, we can't do that. We did that for like pretty much a year and we didn't even really. Like we I know. We only did, you know, we set up the cameras and we uploaded all the footage and then um, we still sent it to the editors. Yeah. Um, But so, yeah, we weren't even really. And that was like so exhausting. Yeah. Um. And now I have a full-time job. And, like, I know you want to really focus on your YouTube channel. Yeah. So, like, we want to. And we wouldn't, like, you know, have any ads to be able to hire an editor. Right. Like, we we lost we all do. of our sponsors. Well, we just lost, like, the ad sales team. Right. Right. Which makes, obviously, sense. Yes. Self-producing, I think, is harder than one would imagine. Thanks, Best Beans, for sponsoring this episode of the podcast. Dang, we're getting canceled, <laughs> but you can't cancel my love for best friends. <laughs> the closest friends are always there when you need them most. Aww. Good times, bad times, times in between. Wow. They've got you. Like how Best Fiends has a new puzzle to keep your brain feeling refreshingly challenged. Um, that's so true. Yeah. Best Fiends. I've been playing Best Fiends longer than our show was running. So yeah. like, you know that this is my ride or die game. That is so true. <laughs> With Best Fiends, there's always something new to play. The adorable, collectible characters just keep coming and it's going to be hard to choose your favorite because there's so many. That is so And there's true. so many levels and oh you'll never run out. Thousands. And it, you'll just like always have something to do. It's the perfect puzzle game yeah. for your phone. Try and run out of levels. I dare you. Try. Try. Yeah. Download the five-star rated puzzle game Best Fiends free today on the App Store or Google Play. That's friends without the R, Best Fiends. Thanks, Best Fiends. Thank you so much, BetterHelp, for sponsoring this episode of the podcast. We're all going to need BetterHelp after this episode. <laughs> oh, my God. Jack, get this. What? Is there something interfering with your happiness or is preventing you from achieving your goals? Dang, straight getting canceled. Yeah. Obviously. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. You can start communicating in under 48 hours. It's not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It's professional counseling done securely online. There's a broad range of expertise available, which may not be locally available in many areas. And the service is available for clients worldwide. You can log into your account anytime and send a message to your counselor, like when your show gets canceled. <laughs> You'll get timely and thoughtful responses, plus you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions so you won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room. As with traditional therapy, BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they make it easy and free of charge to change counselors if needed. It's more affordable than traditional offline counseling and financial aid is available. BetterHelp wants you to start living happier today. Visit BetterHelp.com slash dating. That's BetterHelp and join the over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of of an experienced professional. In fact, so many people have been using BetterHelp that they are recruiting additional counselors in all 50 states, so there's someone for you. This podcast is sponsored by Dating Straight. What? <laughs> this podcast <laughs> was sponsored by BetterHelp and Dating Straight listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash dating. Thanks, BetterHelp. And even at this point, like not self-produced, like it is constant. The work we put into this is constant. Like it, every single day we're doing something. Every single day. Making TikToks, posting TikToks. 
like making thumbnails, like coming into the studio, listening back to episodes and whatever. Um, so I just don't guests. know if we can like take on trying to find guests. Yeah. Like I don't know if we can take on any Prepping extra work. Prepping for the episodes. Prepping for the episodes, making descriptions and titles. Yeah. There's like literally always something. So yeah, self-producing just like doesn't. It would just be so much. It would be so much. Um, anyway, but oh, bargaining. Oh. Depression. Depression. D sadness? Wait. No. Oh, yeah. It was depression. Not. It's. Yeah, it's not sadness. No, it's. It's. Depression. It's denial. Bargaining. Anger. Oh. Anger. Denial. Anger. Bargaining. Depression. Bargaining. Depression. Acceptance. Well. Five. Stages. I don't know. Grief. I don't know exactly where I am on the on the well, spectrum. Well, you can also be like a couple. You can bounce around. Right. I'm bouncing probably. Yeah. yeah. I'm still sad. Yeah. I'm getting sadder. As we sit here. Really? <laughs> I'm sad. Are you going to cry? I don't think I'll cry. Okay. But Should we cry together? Maybe. I think we always said maybe we'd cry. So maybe now's a good time. Maybe we'd cry just like on like the show? Like during the show, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if we ever did. Yeah. We should like cause a scene. How? Cry. Scream. Scream. Let yeah. it out. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Trash the studio. Yeah. Go out <laughs> 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 Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but so yes, that's that. This is crazy. <laughs> um, this is just so weird. It is weird. Well, yeah. it's hard to end something that, or po we don't even really know if it's ending. That's the thing. It's like we have to prepare ourselves for this to be the end. You got to prepare for the worst. But we don't know. So then, like, our emotions are like holding on to a possibility, but also trying to not set ourselves up for expectations mm. um so yeah it's a precarious situation yeah um have you cried about it since that weekend i, I cried on that weekend too i haven't i cried when i was drunk <laughs> on that weekend to phd mm. um who was in town who was training to be a therapist and he was very helpful um but no i haven't cried since then um, just crying about like that it's over or like the experience as a whole. What was I crying about back then? Yeah. yeah back, back then. then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I was just at first I was like, damn, this sucks. Yeah. But mostly I was like proud of us and like very, I feel like I like, it's like I said, it's super fast paced this thing. So like, I feel like. I haven't had a chance to like look back and be like, wow, we like had some really cool episodes with some really cool people. Like mm. we said some fun stuff. I had a lot of fun. Like um, who can say that they've done this? You know, it's a unique experience too. And to do it with my best friend, mm -hmm. what a, what a pleasure. So I was just like really happy and proud. And, and then I had a, then it switched again to like, <laughs> am I letting, you know, myself or you and then like Laura and our producer down somehow um, our producer passed away, and then I was like, no. "Why? Why do that to myself?" Yeah. I was like, "That's not the answer." Um, so yeah, it was a multitude. It was just a lot of emotions about the whole experience. What yeah, about you? it's emotional. It was emotional. Yeah, I don't. I maybe I just. I think it was just shocking mo more than anything. Mm -hmm. I wonder if we're gonna really like. Feel it until it's over. Do you know what I mean? And then right. we're going to be like. Oh. And then it'll come back. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like the feelings. Then we'll just really feel it. Then we'll be yeah. like, oh, my God. What was that? You know what right. I mean? Yeah. I, I feel like I could blink and be with Nick Vile episode one. So true. Without candies scattered across that Gabby Hanna said would daddy so we threw the <laughs> that's so true yes. yeah I, I mean even blink take me back to the moment when your cousin was crying in my car exactly when we came up with the idea exactly like that was just moments ago i know dump him sis dump him sis the original the, title the original title and here we are dumping dumping dating street sis <laughs> We got dumped actually by yeah. by cast media. Yeah. Um Whoa. <laughs> what? Okay. It says cast media on on our podcast. Oh. So like it's okay. And the re yeah. by the way, the reason that that 
were being dumped is it makes sense because it does. they are having ton they're growing as a company yes. and they're having like tons of new shows with like really famous people <laughs> and and they need the studio space mm -hmm, so that those famous people can be in here yeah um so it does make sense like there's no reason to be mad it's just a business decision yeah um so but we were dumped we were dumped wow we've never been dumped before <laughs> oh my god neither <gasps> oh my god we're taking it pretty well though for now <laughs> yeah yeah no i think you know what it's like it's it's a i think we've both grown throughout this podcast and just throughout this past year during pandemic and it's like truly like what are you going to do about it you know it, it's the type of thing where it's like you can you just have to like whatever will be will be mm. there's no point in like hurting yourself over something that's beyond your control mm -hmm. and um yeah so i think we're handling this like adults probably better than we would have you know if we got canceled after episode six which possibly could have happened yeah. remember yeah but we wouldn't have done anything about it yeah we just wouldn't have had the podcast at all i feel like right but i think i would have been upset more i would have been angry oh uh, you know what i mean yeah yeah we would have suffered yeah but also like you can't cancel something at the very beginning like we've been through a lot oh like 93 episodes uh -huh. now right how long is that? How many episodes it's did we do two in years. quarantine? Like probably over like, half. Oh my god! Yeah, that kind of sucks. sucks. That yeah. kind of sucks. Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do? Yeah. So yeah, here we are. I j I also want to thank you guys. You are lovely, lovely listeners. I know how fun to have a little community of gay people listening, um, and loyal people and people who like really I feel like vibe and have fun and get our energy. It's really nice. Mm. Um, so thank you guys for listening. Yes, thank you. <sighs> Pretty crazy. I we know. did a lot. We talked to a lot of people. We did. We a did. lot of people that like we would have never spoken to. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Our network is expanded. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I wonder like what the little gay people are going to think about this. I know. I'm like kind of sorry. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it's not our fault. <laughs> but like... Whose fault is it? No, there is no fault. Yeah. Capitalism, right? How? Because oh. if, because yeah. if the object wasn't to make money, mm. you know, mm -hmm. then yeah. it wouldn't matter. But oh well, we live in a society. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! If this is like the end, the end, then we got. What are we gonna do? Are we gonna like kiss or something? Oh my! God. <laughs> like we gotta do something exciting. Yeah. Now we start dating. <laughs> we finally date straight. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We've shared a lot about ourselves on here too. Overshared. Yeah. A lot. Like I used to talk way too much on this show. Like yeah. in the beginning I was like. Oh. I think we've taken turns of like accidentally saying way too much. Yeah. So now we're going to say nothing for <laughs> <laughs> forever. Oh my gosh. Mm. All right. Thanks for listening to our show. Yes. If this is the end. Love ya. Yeah, love ya. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to y'all. You can still follow us. Yeah. We're still going to be like here. Yeah. Shout out to y'all. Shout, Shout out, out to, to you, Ames. Yeah. We couldn't have done it without each other, I don't think. I would not have made it alone. N oh my gosh. No way. No. And it's really strengthened. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> it's really strengthened our relationship. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's tested our relationship. It really too. has, but like our relationship stood the test. It totally did. Yes, yeah. it was hard at some points. I think we learned a lot about each other, about working with a friend, mm -hmm. working with a a partner on a business in general. Yeah, what a great learning experience. I know. And all good things must come to an end. Wow, you know. Yeah. I think it's almost better that it's ending somewhat abruptly rather than it's like, <laughs> than it just like our show was like really flopping and like no one was listening and we couldn't let it go. You yeah, know? yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. 
So That's true. Ultimately, like, if this is its final resting place, <laughs> I'm content. Yeah, me too. Thanks for listening. I'm Amy Oddman. Oh my god, you didn't even give me a warning to tell me that you were going to do that. What? <laughs> I'm Jack Dodge. And this, and this is, is dating, dating straight. straight. This was dating straight. <gasps> <gasps> well, this was dating straight. See you. <laughs> no. Uh, no, we won't. see you. Uh, uh, see ya. We're <laughs> <laughs> broken hearted lovers. You can help me.